there, I'm Rita Spaulding. I'm the visiting artist for the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Since you're not able to come out and see us right now, I'm gonna teach you how to paint a realistic looking still life using light and shadow. So I've got a couple of pretty little lemons that I got from the kitchen. I've got my watercolor set, a brush, and I've got a little container of water, and here's my uh, piece of paper. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna adjust the light on that just a little bit, there we go. Um, I'm going to get my drawing done very quickly, um, and I'm gonna use uh, maybe a, a green here to kind of get the shapes down. So I've got a little bit of water, maybe a little too much water, um, and I'm gonna get the shape of my two little lemons, like that, here's one of them. And then here's the other. Like that. Okay, so I'm gonna be thinking about where the light and the shadow are on these. So um, I'm gonna start, just go right into the yellow, and I'm gonna really load up my brush. So you can kind of notice I'm really swirling my damp brush into the yellow paint quite a lot. And um, let's see how much we can get on there. Yeah, that's maybe not quite enough. I'm gonna load up just a little more paint. Here we go. And then I'm gonna cover this section down here. Get, wipe it out just a little bit. And I'm gonna use a little bit of purple to darken that up. And I've got another one over here that kind of looks like a dark brown, kind of a purpley brown. So I'm gonna mix both of those on my brush. And I'm gonna go right into that wet paint that's all that I just put down the yellow so I'm going to really darken that up so you can really see the shadow side of that here we go and I'm just going to kind of soften it like that and then I'm going to do the same thing over here this side is the shadow side so I'm going to add just a little bit more of that that brownish purple like that okay now wiped my brush off got a little bit of paint a uh, little bit of water on it my paint. Now I'm gonna really load up that yellow, which is like a really pretty fresh yellow, and I'm gonna get some orange on it because though even though it's called lemon yellow, it really has a little more orange to it than you think. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that brighter orange yellow up here on the top side. There we go. And then where those two meet, I'm gonna soften it by kind of smushing that that darker color into the yellow. And then where that little knob comes out, I'm gonna put, put a little bit of that shadow color underneath there. And I'm gonna go back and restate my shadow, get it just a little darker with some purple, and I think I'll get a little bit of that green and purple and brown together. There we go, that's nice. There we go. And then again, I'm gonna kind of wipe my brush down on my paper towel, and then I'm gonna soften that transition right there. Very nice. And then now I'm gonna go get a little, clean up my brush a little bit, really load up that yellow, get a little bit of that orange on there, and then I'm gonna go around this side of my lemon that's been cut, go around the top there. There we go. Now I'm gonna mix up a little bit, get, wipe down my brush first. I'm gonna get a little bit of that brown and some of that yellow. Really getting a lot of yellow on there. And you know what, I'm gonna get a little bit of that purple too. Maybe not quite so much. Let's try that. That's not quite dirty enough. I'm gonna use a little bit more of that brown and use a little bit of that green. Let's try that. Nope, that's too green a little more of the brown and purple. Let's try that. Yeah, that looks more like it. And so I'm gonna kind of make those little segments and keep them real loose. I'm not making them perfect. And I'm putting the darkest, the darkest is gonna be on this side because it's not catching the light. So I'm going to use a little bit of that yellow on this side you kind of brighten that up just a little bit there we go there we go now i'm going to switch over to a smaller brush i've got a little small oops, smaller brush right here and i'm going to get some a uh, little water on there and then i'm going to get some of this real dark color 
little, it looks like it's black and maybe a dark purple. And then I'm going to go in here where the darkest shadow is, kind of lay down a nice little line there. We'll pull this around here. I'm going to load up some more paint and get this side of the shadow. Now where the where the shadow falls, the, we're going to do like a little cast shadow on here, like this, and then a little bit of a cast shadow from this one, and then I'm going to get it, just use my wet brush to kind of pull some of that paint that's already on there. See, this one I'll have to load up just a little bit. Here we go. And the closer it is to the to the lemon, then the, the darker it gets. So I'm going to use um, ma mainly just water in my brush and I'm going to pull this, the color that's up there, off here so it's not quite so, so dark out to the edge. I'll kind of lighten that up and pull it back that way. Now I'm going to reach in and get some really dark purple and while that's still wet, I'm going to put some of that purple like right in there and then I'm going to soften that transition too. I'm going to get a little bit of paint on there. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing right up in here. I'm going to add just a little more of that dark purple and then I'm going to darken it really close to it. There we go. Maybe just a tiny bit more in there. There we go. And then I'm pulling just, and I'm going to switch back to my bigger brush and I'm going to soften that right in there. So there we go. I'm going to add, take my little brush, add just a little bit of a, a um, shadow underneath here. And maybe just a little bit more of a shadow in the back behind there. Because this side of that lemon is pretty dark. And that's just it. You have to pay attention to what you're actually painting. So I'm using my observational skills to look at the little lemon and see what's going on on that side and what's going on that side. Figuring out where the light's hitting it and where it's um, in shadow. So I'm going to add just a little bit more in there. Here we go. That's got a nice shadow to that. And then we'll soften it, that transition. Might use a bigger brush for that. And actually, I'm going to use a little bit of orange and yellow to make that transition kind of pretty because where those two colors, where the light and the shadow come together, that's where you're going to have your, your brightest, prettiest color. There we go. Very nice. So we'll put a little bit more of the plain yellow at the top, like right in here. Good. And then I'm going to put a little bit, I'm going to use some of that purple and brown to make that little indentation right there. And then I'm going to put a couple of little marks here to show where those segments are and kind of suggest how they meet together like that. There we go. So that's how we do a still life, um, making our watercolor painting look realistic. So. Um, once again, we want to thank you for joining us while the Children's Museum is closed. Um, and we'd actually, we'd really love to see what you create today. So if you get a chance, um, please share your creations with hashtag TCM at home. The hashtag is the Children's Museum at home, TCM at home. And we'd love to see what you do. So looking forward to seeing your work and hope you're enjoying your time at, together at home.